Friday. Finally. 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 I don't know if it's been as long a week for y'all as it has for me. Well, see, it's been longer it's been for Michael than it has me because I've been off. And it's hot. Yes. It's been bad hot. Yeah. Well, I seen where y'all sold the big box. Yeah, he um, tried to get that thing out of here. Yeah, he was excited to finally get it. And then I actually was off last Friday, and Michael had a cart, you know, giveaway. I don't know if you seen it or not, or. Was that the blue one? The blue one, but yeah. he had it opened up in the back with a bunch of different stuff in it. So the guy actually wanted just to buy it. So he bought it. It was the blue cart, some die grinders, the straight and the 90 degree, I think is what it's called. So. Cool. Blue cool, screwdrivers. Cool, cool. Blue pry bars. You can't say blue tool sale. Come on now, that don't work. <laughs> well. That's not a selling point. They sell really good with a blue cart. Yep. I mean, let's just throw that out there. But. That is true. Well, y'all down to one big paint box. That's or it. Magenta. Magenta, Maco Magenta. Yeah. We are down to that one. We're waiting on some more to come in and we have another one of the blue carts that we have to get in and get together and he's gonna go ahead and set up another little thing for it, so. Cool. But that one only rode for less than a week, so it did pretty good. That's so. good. Need to order another one then. Yeah. Well, what else y'all got that's on cool and new and well, we ain't seen? I don't know, because see, Michael, he's the one that's been the ordering right now, so. Well. Anything that you can see? <laughs> um, the odd thing is like our flex scanners right here, mm -hmm. they're supposed to be, um, you know, somebody that wants something that's not just like our top of the line, but not, you know, the lowest, like something not similar. Not a code reader. Yeah, yeah, like that. We've actually sold three of those the past two weeks. We sold one to a diesel shop and then one to just a regular car shop and then one to Lindsay Brothers over here to mm -hmm. one of their tire guys because he works on the side and he's like, look, I just, I need That's something cool. whenever I'm at the house, I can run something. And then one of his guys that he just runs parts for him, mm -hmm. he's actually looking at getting that one. So it's kind of one of those. Right. Well, do y'all sell more ADV sockets and stuff than you do the regular the Mako? Yeah. Um, it's kind of 50-50. It depends on your tech. If mm -hmm. they're just starting out, they like ADV because the price difference. But now if they've been in it for a little while, they kind of lean more toward the Mako brand of it. So. I know people's asked me that. I'm like, I don't know. I've got those ADVs and they work great. They're the warranty's just not the same. as expensive, you know. So. Yeah. And that's like whenever somebody comes down here, like I'll give you an example. So you have this one that is regular Maco. It's the pinless, of course. Right. It's going to be more expensive than if you get the pinned ADV. Right. My opinion is it's preference. Do you mm -hmm. want pin or pinless? And then, because I don't believe ADV does pinless, not right. mistaken. But like I said, it's just preference. Yeah, I have a lot of people ask that. And then, you remember, well, there's one right there. You remember those little stubby air ratchets yep. that we showed? Y'all sell many of those? <laughs> yes. We actually sell quite a few of those. That's why those more tiny. than likely you'll see it sitting there than hanging up. up on the shelf or whatever. Because somebody's going to be Playing pulling it, it down, yeah. messing with it. That's cool. Now, do you have more ADV or regular Maco because you've been in it for a while so I've got um all of my impact sockets are ADV and just snap on it's the maroon box ain't it no <laughs> I never put them like I took the sockets from here inside in the maroon box wow. and then I threw the box in the trash you know you could resell those on eBay I found them we had a guy that was looking for the just the box by itself and he found just the box on eBay yeah, I ain't keeping that ugly ass box. <laughs> it's not too bad if you squint your eyes. Oh and yeah, almost it closed. is very bad. If you're from Mississippi, you're either maroon or you're not maroon. 
Yeah, I'm not. And there ain't no in between. Yeah. Michael, he makes fun of me because I'm like, no. I think Alabama's the same way. In Alabama, you're either blue and orange or blue and white, you know, Auburn, yeah, and but, or you're Alabama. Exactly. But in my no opinion, in there's a difference between Alabama, Crimson, and Mississippi State, Maroon. Like. You're splitting hairs. It's <laughs> both the ugliest colors ever made right there. Well, kind of. That color. <laughs> All the same. I don't understand why they did that color. Maybe it's just a branding thing. I don't know. I don't know. I think people would use them and keep them more if they was black. That's yeah, and you would think it'd be easier to do a black box than it would be to do a colored maroon, a burgundy, whatever it's called. So. Yeah, they probably get them really cheap because nobody else wanted that color. That's probably how they ended up with that color to start with. <laughs> I don't know. Like we, when they first started, it's probably like, we've got these black cases. They're three dollars a piece. But we got these terrible looking orange cases or uh, maroon cases that we kind of, you know, we we didn't get the color match just right for the universities that ordered them. Yeah. Like Texas A&M and Auburn or uh, Alabama and State. <laughs> so the color's a little off. We'll let you have them for a buck a piece. Okay, we'll take those. Yeah, maybe. Well, we do got some gray cases. They're just not in yeah. our stock. I don't. Yeah, I don't get, get that it. part, but um, I know you bought the foam cannon. How did it work? It out worked for you? great. I did an uh, Instagram on it, showed it. Huh. Like you play with those knobs, that thing will blow it out there like shaving cream. Yeah, it <laughs> so will. It's pretty cool. <laughs> so, yeah, our kids like. Like to play I wasted with it. like a quarter of it just playing with it, you know, just seeing what it would do. But. Well, you got to figure out which one's your preference too. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's just. It was nice. I washed her SUV with it, and. Uh, now she has a black SUV, correct? Mm -hmm. So you have to wash it like every 13, 14 minutes to keep yeah. it clean. Especially with the dust and stuff. And especially if you're out on 364, did you see yeah. what they're doing out there? Yeah, they're laying that gravel. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's, we come down through there. Dusty, and there was, dusty, dusty. Yeah, I said, I hate for any car that got behind us because it was not clean. Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> So we did that and uh, it worked really good. I liked it, so. Now you're, the worked soap, the money. did the soap work out well too? Mm -hmm. Okay. I like the buckets, my favorite thing. The grit guard in the bottom of the yep. bucket? that's yep. nice. Cause you can just, like I use a brush, mm -hmm. you know, I got a car wash brush. I just shove yeah. it in there and shake the crap out of it, you know, and I don't have to worry about bumping the bottom and getting the grit in it like yep. I used to. So that's nice. Yeah, see, when you wash this one, the, the bucket is not big enough, so we have to use one of those, like, huge tubs, tubs that you get from yeah. Walmart. Yeah. Our kids, like, hop in it every now and then. Go to uh, Lowe's or somewhere and buy you a mop bucket. They're oval shape, and they'll they'll fit those car wash brushes. I wonder if you can get a grit guard for those, because that would come in handy. I don't know. My, bu my, bu my bucket that I got from you, the car wash brush or going there, you have to kind of turn it on the side a little bit, kind of angle. Yeah. But well, at least it good. works. That's yeah. how it matters. Works good. Yep. How do you like those soldering irons? The little kit back there with the metal case. Yeah, this one. Don't get me in line. Michael likes it. He's all into the, like if we have, he has a flashlight at the house that the little wire broke. So he just took it apart and soldered the little wire yeah. back together. Now it works fine. Well, not me. I'll sit there and watch all day long. I don't have to touch the ink because it gets hot. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, all right, guys. I guess we're going to... That's cool right there. What is that, a sticker? Yep. Oh, we have neat. those now and... The rat things. The wrench flag and the rat thing. Well, that's cool. Yeah. Very nice. He must have ordered those. We actually, they were in a flyer and one of our customers seen them and wanted them. So cool. we just went ahead and they've actually sold pretty good. Good deal. All right, guys, like always, thanks for watching, hanging out with us. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up. Check out for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here. If you're not subscribed, click that button. Y'all have a great weekend. See ya.